The dawn of the Cambrian period, 544 million years ago. The animal kingdom is undergoing a time of transition. Early animals were simple, passive creatures, drifting through the current or anchored to the sea floor. But over the course of 50 million years, a lot is going to change. Life undergoes an explosive transformation. Thousands of new species burst into being, including the oceanic ancestors of dinosaurs, elephants, and humans. This is evolution's Big Bang, the Cambrian Explosion. Before that time, there was little, if any, animals present on planet Earth. And within about a 20 to 30 million year period, basically all of the major animal groups appear in the fossil record and start diversifying. So it's a time of major evolutionary change. Scientists like Bruce Lieberman are discovering ancient clues about why the explosion happened. This really is one of evolution's big unanswered questions. Darwin talks about the Cambrian explosion in The Origin of Species back in 1859, and he was puzzled by how quickly organisms appear. We'd like to know what were the triggers that caused this real explosion of life. The creatures that emerged from the Cambrian were larger and more mobile than any of their predecessors. And what's more, they evolved weapons for battle. An important aspect of the Cambrian explosion is that it is an evolutionary arms race. For the first time, creatures evolved the natural weapons they still use on today's battlefields. Jaws, claws, body armor, and most critical of all, eyes appear. They're obvious, they're there, and there's no evidence for complex eyes before this Cambrian explosion. These eyes are the first type to appear in the fossil record. Compound eyes. The invention of a group of arthropods called trilobites. Arthropods are joint-limbed animals that today include things like crustaceans, insects, spiders, and so on. The compound eye is a type of eye that's possessed by these arthropods. On closer look, it's clear that these eyes are nothing like our own. So you can see these two round structures on the head. And when you look at them in detail, you can see small circular bodies in a series of rows. Each row has several of these circles. And when we look at them, you can recognize that these are eyes with many lenses. Trilobite eyes are one of the earliest results of the animal kingdom's most feverish arms race. Coincidence? Or was the evolution of more powerful eyes the spark that triggered the Cambrian explosion? Eyesight is part and parcel with predation and things avoiding predators. So if there were not the development of eyes, you might have had some of the sparks of the Cambrian explosion, but I don't think you would have had the full bang. Just how did the trilobite manufacture an eye of such complexity? They took advantage of the materials at hand. Their eyes are made of rock. This rock is calcite. And in fact, it's the same rock or mineral that makes up the trilobite eye. Trilobites secreted this mineral from their skin to form both their rigid shells and equally rigid eyes. That's what their skeleton was made of. They had to evolve an eye out of this substance. So it means we've got a beautiful record of what their eyes looked like. Without calcite, trilobites would be not only naked, but blind. These crystal eyes represented a major advance from the simpler light-sensing cells that came before and likely gave trilobites a supreme survival advantage. The eyes present before the Cambrian explosion would have been nowhere near as complex as the type of eye that you'd see in a trilobite. The compound eye would have allowed them to better track down prey or find dead carcasses of things to eat. True visionaries, trilobites diversify and endure for nearly 300 million years before a mass extinction event wipes out the last of their species. But other arthropods survive, and one group takes the compound eye to new heights. Insects. If we look at the most abundant 
animal life form on land, it's the insects. There are literally more than a million species of insects that are present. They all have a complex compound eye. The first insects evolved around 400 million years ago. While they share a common ancestor with trilobites, they are not their direct descendants. Studies show they evolved their compound eyes independently, but from the same genetic blueprint. An array of microscopic lenses that work together to form an image. The greater the number, the finer the detail. Fruit flies have hundreds of lenses per eye. Bees boast an astonishing 7,000 lenses. But evolution drove one insect to develop a compound eye of staggering complexity, the dragonfly. Each eye has a mind-boggling 29,000 lenses, making for the ultimate motion detector. In pursuit of fast-moving prey, dragonflies give chase at a staggering 38 miles per hour. Their eyes' focusing power is poor, but their processing speed is spectacular, resolving images five times faster than our own. The result? Lightning reflexes, ideal for timing strikes and avoiding high-speed collisions. The success of insects has made the compound eye the most prevalent in all of nature. But it would not be the only vision system to emerge from the Cambrian explosion. Another group of animals evolved. One that would launch the prototype for an advanced eye of their own. The vertebrates. The eyes of insects and the eyes of vertebrates represent different instances of the origin of eyes. They've evolved from different ancestors to achieve the same end. The vertebrate eye gets its start as a simple light detector. Over time, it will evolve and become the targeting system for history's largest predators.